Hey guys, that monkey my back here for another video. Guys, in this video, what I want to talk about is overall in the whole entire year, as you all know, we have so many different promos introduced into Madden. You know, we have I think about 15, 16 different promos. And the question that you know everyone thinks of is, well, I mean, if you're thinking about this, is which promo is best to invest in? Which promo is best to invest your coins into saving up? to be able to make the most back on that promo and with you know being so many different promos it's difficult to know which promo is the best one to do and in this video what i want to talk about is which promo is the best to invest in and why now the best promo to invest in getting off right away let's cut the cheese guys it's going to be the positional hero promo Every year, the Positional Hero promo comes out. And if you're all new to Madden, let me explain it to you. Positional Hero is a player, the players, at every, the best player at every single position, gets a card in, I think it's March or April. It's March or April. It comes out once a week. Sorry, two players come out every week for about, like, is it 16 weeks, I believe? It's like six or maybe 12 weeks. I forget how much it is. I think there's like 23, 24 players total. So I think it's about 12 weeks. It's about like two and a half months, okay? And uh, these sets contain anything. They could contain, you know, certain players. They could contain certain wild cards. They could contain anything in the sets. So why am I telling you that you should invest into the set? Not right now. Right now, you should not invest into the set. When you should start investing in this set is going to be in February. But the reason why I'm telling you this right now is because saving cards on your farm account could help you out in the long run. And I told you this in another video in the past, which was if you, if like EJ Manuel went up 500k in the matter of a couple months, right? So saving cards on your farm accounts and maybe not selling every card you get could be the best solution in the end. And the reason why is because you could, as I said before, you could have that card that goes for a lot of coins. Now, the way you save up or the way you um, right now invest into it is by saving those cards in your binder. But the way you um, invest in the future is going to be, I'll make videos about it when the time comes, but it's pretty much buying in cards for cheap that you think are going to be in the sets and being able to um, invest and then the cards go up in value and you have, you know, you have those cards that you bought for cheap, you sell them for high. You know, that's all investing is buying cheap, selling high. So that's the promo I suggest that you invest in 100% in the near future out of all the promos in this year. That's the best promo to invest in. So that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Just a quick video telling you guys which promo is the best to invest in and why and when you should invest. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.